you say about a man like that? Three months ago, you lost the drive containing the identity of every agent embedded in terrorist organizations across the globe. 007 reporting for duty. Where the hell have you been? Dame Judy Dench, you were the hottest Bond girl. <laughs> oh, gosh. I've, I've waited seven films. <laughs> so much to say that. That's seven That's films good. too long. That's if good. There are notes of a more maternal kind of side of M in this movie. I mean, there's always, I suppose, been a kind of maternal uh, um, aspect of, of M and, and Bond. Is there any of that energy that kind of carries offset at all? I feel like these guys need to be taken care of a little bit. They seem like live wires. Yes, I think they're all tired wires at the end of it, <laughs> more. <laughs> the key, and as it's always been, but you know, very much with this one, maybe because we had a little more time is to get the best people available and get them into a room and ask them what do they think and and, what, and, and hopefully what comes out of it is something special. Some, you know, it's a kind of an incredibly creative experience. I know it sounds kind of simplistic, but it doesn't happen on many movies, that. How much do you know about fear? All oh, there is. Well, not like this. Not like him. Mommy was very bad. And you in this movie are the scariest man that I've ever seen, even when he's forced to wear Velcro shoes. <laughs> oh. It's always about the hair. <laughs> exactly, the hair. Please excuse my ignorance, but was yeah. that a wig or was that your real hair? I, can, I cannot answer that. That's, <gasps> uh, you that's can't? Uh, His Majesty 007 best kept secret. <laughs> really? So that means that I'd have to torture you to get it out of you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What do you think is the scariest thing about Silva? You don't quite scary. know where he's going to jump in from next, you know. Yeah. Don't know where he's going to turn up. He's a really dangerous person. That's true. He, he's slippery, like you said in the movie. He certainly is. <laughs> and, and adorable. <laughs> <laughs> slippery and adorable is a oh, dangerous combination. Absolutely. Trust me. It's not about danger or fear or be scary or anything like that. It's more about creating... In James Bond, a, a wait for him to not know what's going to happen next and be really uncomfortable. The character did feel uncomfortable, and it was uncomfortable to watch you, mostly mm -hmm. because I spent half the time being scared and the other half being l strangely turned on by <laughs> any time you would touch another human being. <laughs> and I just went, oh, my God. I mean, we haven't seen this in Bond in a yeah. long time. It's a villain that, like, you really sexed it up. Yeah, it was there. It was one of the options, and we went with that one. I, I love it. <laughs> and it was it was fun to play, and we were having fun doing it. I was really nervous on my first day because I thought it was going to be bigger than anything I'd done. I thought there was going to be like a massive crew. It's going to be hugely intimidating, um, and it wasn't like that at all. It was a very intimate set, and that's largely because of Sam Mendes as well. That's what he likes, you know, and he wants the feel to be like you're making a little indie movie. One of the hottest scenes that I've ever seen in a Bond film is in this movie. Bond gets shaved. Oh, yeah. His yeah. face is shaved. Is that something that you've done in real life? I just have I ever been that. shaved? Yes, have you? <laughs> <laughs> May I? <laughs> <laughs> Too much? Too much information. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's hot in here. <laughs> and you know what? Which leads me into another question. Just recently, you you were saying like you can't even go to bars anymore, and it's sad. Yeah, because... I know. I mean, I, it's, I get I make quotes like that in, the, in, in in magazines, and it sounds like I'm bitching about my life. Oh I no. mean, but but I just in fact, it's it's not partic it's not true, and it, it can ruin it an afternoon if I want to go and have a quiet drink with friends or something. Well, like certainly. That. Not that I drink in the afternoon. No, but I mean, <laughs> you know, it's hard to go to the grocery store mm. when you're Daniel Craig. You know what? I live in New York City, and most people in New York City don't. I've got better things to do. Than <laughs> just you know, they kind of go, oh, it's you know. So uh, I, I, it's it's actually pretty pretty great. All right, and what's your drink? And what in, in real, real life? life? Oh, I drink. I mean, I drink Guinness mainly. Not not a scorpion on your hand, I'm assuming. And I was wondering if you would do me the honor of of helping me pick a Bond girl name. That's difficult. Pinky hijinks. Very, very good. It's an honor, Dame Excellent. Dame. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>